Over the weekend, my good friend Kathy Sell took me on a road trip. And we went to a very exciting area of Pennsylvania. We went to the Lancaster area where there are loads of good cooks and all kinds of tasty treats in that area. Not only from meats and vegetables, but also in the kitchen area. There are communities of Mennonite and Amish people that can cook like nobody's business. <laughs> and so we brought back some really good treats and we're gonna use one of them in a recipe today. We were in an area called Intercourse, Pennsylvania and in a store that was called Kitchen Kettle Village. And in the back of the store, the women were cooking in kettles and canning jars and oh my gosh. And then walking through the store, you could taste all the things that they had for sale. And it was so hard to decide what was the best thing to buy. <laughs> so I came home with a few goodies. I have things like blueberry peach butter and blueberry, oh, I got one of those from my mom too, blueberry peach butter. And then for Rick, I got some horseradish mustard. <laughs> He'll like that, huh? We have some blackberry butter and we have some cherry vanilla jam. Oh, that is unbelievable. And cranberry orange marmalade. And we're gonna do a recipe with this, you won't believe. But the one we're gonna to use today is called pepper jam. Now, you may be able to get pepper jam in your area. In fact, I think you can get it in a regular supermarket. It's not real hot. It has red bell peppers and some other great ingredients. We're gonna use one jar. This is a 10 ounce jar in our recipe today. And I picked up the recipe card right there on the counter. Use a 10 ounce jar of pepper jam. We're gonna use an eight ounce block of cream cheese. So easy. I'm gonna use the Ninja, nice and easy. I'm just gonna use my Ninja container. And we're gonna blend it up. Now I had the, the eight ounce block of cream cheese sitting out a little bit. It just makes it easier to, to blend if you have it softened a little bit. This recipe is called Pepper Party Pleaser. At this time of year with the holidays coming, or the fall, different kinds of food that you eat, uh, gatherings that you might have, and you can just throw this together real quick. Okay, whole jar. Okay, I'm gonna put this jar in here. Use my little spurtle so I don't miss a drop. You know, if you have a chance to go to this village and check it out, you won't be disappointed. There's all kinds of stores and cooking and restaurants and a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun there. When I recall the trip we had that day, <laughs> I keep thinking of more and more things that were nice to recall. Things we saw, beautiful plants, Moms that were bigger than the back of your car. <laughs> it was just so much fun and we had a blast. Thanks, Kathy, for the wonderful trip. All right, let's plug this in. Okay, let's plug this in and just blend it and you'll start to see how nice and smooth it gets. shake it a little bit to get any of the little pieces off the top. Alright, that should do it.
Look how quick and easy and pretty. Okay, let me pour it out for you. You know, as we were driving in the area, going up and down the streets, the sides of the roads were covered with horses and buggies taking the people who live there back and forth to their work, their fields, their animals, and also they were doing some demonstrations for tourists and stuff too. It was just an area filled with things to learn and try. It was great. <laughs> Mostly about farming farm to table type things and all the vegetables and I bought some smoked meats and some vegetables and hmm one restaurant that we went in for lunch we tried this nice creamy pepper party pleaser as part of our meal <laughs> and that's when I got interested and trying to make this myself. Okay, I'm just going to put some in a little dish for now. Now when they served it to us at lunch, they just gave us some plain crackers so that you could get the good taste of it. But also, I think if you use some ginger snaps, oh, that will be so good too. Let me show you this close up. Look how nice and creamy. And if you dip it on a cracker, it's very smooth. Let's taste it. Can't wait to taste it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I almost forgot to eat the cracker. <laughs> mm. That is so good. If you get a chance to go to Lancaster area, I hope you can go to this store. And try to find this pepper jam but if you can get a pepper jam in your grocery store or local food market pick up a jar mix it up with cream cheese that's all there is to it you can mix it in your mixer beat it up by hand if you let it get softened but if you have a ninja that's such a quick way to get a nice smooth result and this is a nice party snack for this time of year so give it a try. Mm. Mm, see the bite of that, the bite of that ginger snap sets it off even a little bit more. Try this recipe for pepper party pleaser. Hope you like this idea. Have a nice day.